Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to The Fashion Bunker. I have an important question for you, and it does concern the future of shopping and luxury as well. Question is, would you be ready to pay, be charged money just to try on clothes in the shop, store, or boutique you go to? In other words, imagine going to Chanel and wanting to try on one of their jackets. And Chanel tells you, you may try on the jacket, but first you have to pay $1,000. Well, let's answer this question together because apparently this is not a hypothetical. Apparently, this has become reality. We're moving towards the future. Yes, we are. We could say that this is maybe another episode of the end of luxury because could you imagine being charged just to try on clothes? And yet it's happening. Let's find out where together and how exactly. First, subscribe to my channel here on the tubes, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks, follow me also on Patreon, Super Jacob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week, so come join the fun, come join the chats. <clears throat> Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. So uh, there are uh, some TikTokers out there and uh, there are some store shop owners out there. In particular, one store owner from downtown LA, now IYKYK, if you know about downtown LA, you will know that the shops there, well, let's just say most of them are not really that affluent and elegant, as Anna Bay would say, but are rather a little bit ratchet. You know, one of those stores where they sell you prom dresses out of, you know, acrylics. You're not allowed to fart in it because if you do, the whole thing just evaporates into thin air. You know, it burns. <laughs> it's that type of acrylic, y'all. But, you know, <clears throat> those type of things. Thumb up the video while you're at it, okay, and subscribe. Thank you. And uh, it's that shop and the ladies working there and this is now entering all of the news outlets more and more, and it's becoming a viral sensation. What's happening? So the two ladies who work or co-own the store um, have reported that they have had issues. You know, not all clients are polite and kind. Now, you can imagine a store like that has a lot of made in China stuff and you order in bulk. So if they have a prom dress in, you know, in, in fuchsia out of a certain material, they're going to have probably 50 of them in all different sizes. You know what I mean? Like a ton of clothes. It's one of those places where you enter, you can smell the combination of the acrylic carpet with the acrylic clothes and, and still the cigarette smoke that's still permeating in the walls from the 80s because it's in one of those buildings that hasn't been renovated since the 80s. I mean, it's a vibe. It's, it's definitely a vibe, you know, it's a vibe. But imagine all these ladies saying, okay, we're sick and tired of the Karens and of the people coming in and just mistreating us and just treating these clothes like they're dirt. So we're going to start live streaming. We're going to start live streaming on TikTok. And uh, we're going to live stream every day at work from opening till closing. And we're going to let all the customers know. Now, this is the first point where I ask you guys in the live chats, but also in the comment section down below, do you think that's appropriate or not? Because a lot of places have cameras and are filming, but to film it publicly, Technically, depending on the country you're in, I think the law states if you state it clearly, like you're, if you enter this premise, you will be filmed and broadcast live. I don't know if you can get away with it if you write something like that. In any case, these ladies are live streaming all day. And apparently word got out that they're live streaming all day and apparently started gaining traction. And people wanted to come to this store and people wanted to be on camera. They also claim that they film clients uh, you can, you know, if you're trying on clothes, the camera is fixed in the center of the shop. And if you pass in that spot, you will be filmed. So people started really following this channel. And of course, people started becoming fans, right? So they also started coming to the store to be on camera, right? So the ladies at one point said, okay, enough is enough. We're sick and tired of people coming to the store, trying clothes on, but not buying anything. Here's where they started developing this plan of saying, well, uh, you, 
so two things. Once they, one thing they said, you can try on four uh, dresses or four garments, four pieces, not looks, four pieces for free. <laughs> After the fourth piece, it's $50 unlimited. So you, you get to try four pieces on for free and then you pay $50 and then you get to try how many other more pieces you want later on. People started complaining about this. The lady countered that worked there by saying, well, other stores do even less. Other stores are going to charge you money for just trying two. Some stores allegedly are going to try, are going to uh, charge you for trying on just from the first one on. Now, Kev is asking, good question, Kev. Kev always knows what to ask. Kev in the chat says, not while they change. Well, here's where the story gets a little bit complicated, and this is why this particular shop is now in the news. You see two girls, best friends. Well, they seemed friends. They shot their own video on TikTok complaining about this store. These two girls who claim in their video that they are 17 years old, underage, went to the store, got treated very poorly by this woman that worked there, they claim, uh, that she kind of attacked them and said, oh, you only come, you know, people like you who have no money come to the store just to try on stuff and never spend any money. You're wasting my time. I'm going to film you. And she turned the camera and apparently filmed them in the dressing room while they were in their underwear. Now, they claim that she checked the comments, the live chats running through the live stream on TikTok. And when she noticed that people were like telling her, turn the camera, you know, show us how the chicks look. And, you know, they were kind of hyping her up. She then went with that hype for views rather than to sell the clothes. Apparently, this is what the girls are alleging. Don't shoot the messenger. Everything I say here is alleged. So she filmed them also while they were in their mostly showing skin moment, uh, trying on uh, these uh, garments. And then she wanted money from them. On <laughs> she wanted money from them for trying stuff on. They left appalled and shot their own video. And in their video, they claim that one, they were filmed even though they were 17 with their clothes on, but also filmed in the dressing room while they were in their underwear, that they got rudely treated, mistreated, and that they left the store. I'm not so sure if they ended up having to pay for having tried on clothes or not. But the question is this. Obviously, goes without saying, you do not film minors, period. There's no debating that. There's no question about that. But my question is this. The debate to be had here is, are we thinking that it's okay for these especially smaller stores that are kind of struggling to survive to find ways to make money? You know, if they can live stream on TikTok, that means that they need, what, at least 10,000 followers uh, on TikTok in order to be able to live stream, or I don't know if their numbers changed, but then at a certain time you can start monetizing your live streams as well. I personally don't mind the idea of a store trying to survive and filming, like as long as you state at the entrance of the store, if you enter this store, you are being filmed and then you only film the actual shop, not the dressing room area, okay? So only the portion of the shop where you clearly state, if you cross by this section of the store, you will be filmed. Otherwise, you can stay in that corner and try on your clothes without being filmed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you, you know what I'm saying? But to have this sort of security, because the ladies that work in the store, they said, well, you know, some customer, you know, there's thieves. Some customers are super rude. So we started filming everything in, in a form of a live stream. And when a person would be particularly rude, we would say, go say it in front of the camera, be rude publicly. So they would use the camera to actually deter people from being rude. And I understand that, especially downtown LA, like you gotta, it's a hustle, it's a struggle. So I kind of applaud the ladies for finding ways to make their life a little bit easier in that shop by defending themselves from rude clients and potential thieves. More power to them for that. But did all this fame get to their head? 
And so now they're reading the comments in the live stream and reacting according to the comments, hence why the camera was filming in the dressing room as well. Like that's where they crossed the line for me, hands down, no questions asked. This is not good. It should not happen. And the girls, in my humble opinion, should seek legal advice for what happened to them. But the ladies were saying like, you know, it's it has become really difficult and tough for us to, to survive under these circumstances. So we started filming. Now, another thing to be said, though, as this live stream was becoming popular, popular, you know the song, my God, I hate that song so much. Anyway, so um, some of the, of the video, <laughs> um, people started coming to the store to be on camera. Uh, of course, of course, there were some ratchet individuals who were like, oh, let's get our five minutes of glory and fame on TikTok. Let's go and be on camera in the store while they're open and filming. So now all of a sudden you can you can check online. If I find the link to who knows if their TikTok account is still going to stay online much longer because this is going viral and people are really complaining about it. But uh, if I do have a link, I shall post it down below to that TikTok account if I find the link. So if I don't find the link, I apologize for not posting it. Otherwise, I would have. Um, and uh, so you can imagine people are like, OK, I want to go now and be on camera. So I've seen a snippet of a video where really the camera is like filming the store. You have all those dresses aligned. And the store is one of those downtown L.A. stores, like very elongate, long, like tubular, tubular, totally tubular, like uh, totes, like long, long, long stores. Right. So the camera is here and it's filming towards the bottom of the store. And there's literally people in between all the aisles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like standing there, like just like chilling, hanging around, like being filmed on the TikTok live. Um, so in a way, I see kind of the pros and the cons of everything. Um, you know, I, I, I think people are also desperate that are like kind of coming to the store now just to be filmed. And I understand that by doing so, the ladies that work in the store got frustrated at one point. They're like, you can't just come to the store here just to chill and hang out for the camera. Are you going to buy something or not? So they started charging for trying on clothes. <laughs> I mean, it's ratchet. I mean, the whole thing is super ratchet. OK. And then I started thinking with my, you know, peanut brain. I'm like, oh, what if Chanel started charging? What if Dior started? If Hermes started charging? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? The shame, the shame, the shame, the shame. Hermes charging you to, you know how they like, you can't buy a Birkin unless you don't, you know, do the journey, allegedly, right? But imagine like, at least now they have on display, they have the Birkins, the Kellys, the Constance and all the other shenanigans. At least they're on display and it says, this is not available for purchase. This is just for display only. Sometimes they'll let you take it in the hand and touch it. Try the Birkin that you'll never own. Could you imagine if Hermes now starts charging you money? Okay, you enter Hermes and they're like, yeah, you cannot buy this. It's not for sale. But if you want to touch it, you can drop $300. For $300, we will take it out of the glass of a train. Yeah, okay. You understand. And we're going to give it to you to try it out. Kev is asking, but does the charge to hold the Birkin go towards my pre-spend? Absolutely not, darling. Don't be so ghetto. No. It doesn't. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I thought to myself, if, if luxury brand, that, I mean, think about it, you guys. We are literally just a step away from that really becoming reality because the luxury brands are struggling in the economy of today. People are not buying anymore. The quality sucks. They started opening up restaurants and cafes to earn some money on the side. You know, the Dior Cafe, the Gucci Cafe, the Versace Spa, the Guerlain Spa, the, you know, the Louis Vuitton Doha um, restaurant lounge at the airport, uh, the Chanel Beige restaurant at the top of the Tokyo uh, boutique and so on and so forth. I think the next step will be to charge you to enter the store. You know, like they're charging you to enter a club. You know, it's like it's like Disneyland, like, yeah, pay to play, honey, pay to play. You're going to pay an entrance fee to enter the store and then you're going to pay to ride on every single ride. And the rides are the clothes you're trying on. I think, I mean, as dystopian as this sounds, I think these brands are crazy enough to actually try to pull this off. 
I think they're actually crazy enough to try to pull this off. Like, oh my gosh, if Chanel watches this video, the idea is Lena Nair is going to get, oh, if, oh, if Lena Nair, the, you know, the CEO of Chanel, if Lena, hi Lena, hi Lena, hi Farelina, I YK, YK, I YK, YK. If Arelina watches it, she's going to be like, let me bring home some more bacon for Chanel. Let's start charging people to enter the stout. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> so anyway, yet another topic for the end of luxury. What can I tell you? Let, let a hoe know in the comment section down below, little rhyme, what your thoughts and prayers are. This is going to go viral. Uh, this this particular story, maybe not my video, but the story is, uh, news are picking up on this, and uh, boy oh boy, am I looking forward to see how this one plays out. Let me know your thoughts and prayers down below, and until next time, don't forget to never give up on love. Subscribe! Bye!